In the coming days, U.S. intelligence will prepare an assessment for President Reagan of what evidence there is of Soviet or Libyan or other outside involvement in the death of Sadat. Officials believe discontented Egyptians killed him, but may have had foreign help. One prime suspect is a man named Saad Eddin El Shazli, a former Egyptian chief of staff of the military, who in 1978 established an anti-Sadat front based in Syria, a group which is, in fact, one of those claiming to have arranged for the murder. The Shazli group has backing from Libya's Colonel Gaddafi, a sworn enemy of Sadat, as well as from Yasser Arafat of the Palestine Liberation Organization, and from Syria's President Assad. Another suspect is Abdel Salam Zayat, a former deputy prime minister, arrested among 1,500 others during Sadat's recent crackdown on dissent. Egypt's government newspaper said Zayat was a Soviet agent of the KGB, who had recruited a group of Egyptians codenamed the Swamp to bring down the Sadat regime at any price. The intelligence assessment of who killed Sadat could affect U.S. foreign policy dramatically, but officials stress Sadat had many enemies. We may never know who ordered him killed. David Ensor, ABC News, Washington.